Welcome back to another sewing tutorial, guys. In this one, we'll learn how to draft this double-breasted short collar blazer dress on my thumbnail. Okay, I'm going to show you step by step how to draft this on your pattern in this video, and in in the next one, we'll also learn how to sew it step by step. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to first of all draft my back. So you're going to get your pattern ready. And then I'm going to start drafting. I already ruled my lines from my starting point. I have from there shoulder to my bust point is 11 inches, to my waist is 17, and to my hip is 25, right? My hip line that I've already ruled. Then the length of the gown is actually 45, and I added it's 44, and I added one inch to make it 45. Okay, so I'll go ahead and start with my shoulder i'm going to put my shoulder the shoulder measurement is 15 which is seven and a half and I'm, I'm going to add half inch to it to make it eight inches right i'm going to impute it there on my um, starting point which is my shoulder line and then the next thing i'm going to do is to mark my neck width and my neck depth remember we are drafting the back for so the neck width and working with is three inches and then the next depth i'm working with for the back is one and a half i'm going to connect this with a curve like this and then on my that part that i max my shoulder i'm going to come down by one inch to create my shoulder slope connect it back to my neck width like this then i'll come there and then i'll mark my um post line or my chest line mine is eight inches i'm going to mark it there and i'm going to just rule a straight line there to indicate this is my chest line or my bust line then remember that eight inches um show that i will mark i'm going to bring it down there and mark it as well this is to enable me create a straight line to enable me create my armhole curve okay so i'm just going to connect it just remeasuring to be sure i am correct connect it and then um going to just extend that line my chest line and then i'll mark my armhole curve so what i'm going to do is just to get the midpoint of my armhole which is four inches okay the midpoint of eight is four and then from there i'm going to mark my curve like this okay and we're done with that the next thing i'm going to do is to get my um bust band so the nipple to nipple of this person i'm working with is eight inches and that means eight divided by two is four so i'm going to come on my hemline and mark four inches i'm going to mark it all the way to my bust point so mark your bust band um to your bust point line and then connect with a straight line connect with the ruler like this so when you're done connecting like this you're going to come on your waistline and take your darts your darts intake so on my waistline i'm going to take that of half inch on both sides okay and then i'm going to connect this to my pause point like this also connect the other darts leg to my pause point then connect down to my hip line okay so we're done with that now i'm going to impute my circumferences so on your chest line you're going to put your um post circumference divided by four plus one inch seam allowance 
or you can do 1.5 in seam allowance whichever works for you so on my waist it's my waist divided by four plus one inch seam allowance and i'm going to add back that 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 i removed you know we removed half inch on both sides which is one i will add it back okay so on my hip line i'm going to do the same thing my hip divided by four plus one inch seam allowance so whatever i have on my hip line i'm going to bring it down on my hemline so whatever i have on my hip line i'm bringing it down on my hemline and i'm going to connect the points together Let's connect my hip to my waist measurement and then to my forced measurement on my chest line so you're going to blend where it's needed like i am doing to remove any pointiness blend everything well and we're done with that next i'm going to do is to create the princess that the shoulder princess that style line okay but first let me um contour the back the the center back so on my center back on my waistline i'm going to cover it by half inch and then i'm going to connect it to my chest line and down to my hip line as well and this is because you know your back is not straight so that it follows the shape of your back and eliminates any bulginess at the back you should do this okay so blend it up like this we are going to be cutting that off so that it takes the shape of the back a little bit curved like that next is to create the princess that shoulder princess that so i will measure what is left of my shoulder i have five inches there i'll get the midpoint of five which is 2.5 i'm going to connect it back to my bust point okay so we are done with the back now to the front so for your front pattern make sure that it, the pattern is larger by five inches okay in width and it's longer by five inches this is to accommodate your double breasted lapel and also the collar so on that point i'm marking five inches inwards okay that space is needed for um to create the overlap for the double breasted okay so i'm connecting the five inches i marked from from the end of the paper and i have five inches there and as you can see i didn't my starting line did not start from the top parts i have five inches there so make sure you leave about five inches at the top and then mark your starting point and then start creating your markings so from my starting point which is my shoulder line the same thing i did for the back i marked my bust point my waist of seven 17 inches and my hip line of 25 inches okay i'm going to go ahead and rule my line Please make sure you leave a space up, okay, and um, the other side for your double-breasted um, this thing jacket for your front to enable you have space to create the overlap and the collar. I'll go ahead and mark my shoulder of 8 inches and then from there I'll come down by 1 inch to mark my shoulder slope. I'll take my neck width of 3 inches like I did the front and then the neck depth or for the front I'll take the basic neck depth which is 3 inches for the front so 3 by 3 for the front. I go ahead and connect the neck width to the shoulder slope of one inch like that and then what I had on my shoulder um I also create my bust um line or chest line of eight inches and mark it with a straight line I'm basically doing everything I did for the front okay the only difference is the double breasted and the collar okay so i also mark the eight inches i have on my shoulder brought it down on my bust line so that i'll create a straight line like this so now i'll get the midpoint of that eight inches that i have here which is four i'll mark it and then on that four inches i'll come in by half of an inch to create my armhole now it's different from the back because we need to eliminate any bulginess at the armhole of the front so i'm going to connect it like this to that half inch and then down with the curve to my um chest line like this okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is to um to my um get my post pan that is the nipple to nipple divided by two 
just like i did for the back four inches you're going to mark four inches so remember whatever marking i have i'm marking it from that line that i ruled okay four inches to my bust point i'm going to connect it all with a ruler Okay, the next thing now is to create my dart on my waistline. So I'll come on my waistline. I'm going to mark half inch on both sides of the waistline. Then on my bust point, I'm going to come down by one inch. Now this is different from the back because you don't want um, to connect it exactly on your bust point. Okay, so you connect it to that one inch that you marked down and then back to your um, hip line like this. So we're done with that and then the next thing is to um, take all your impute all your circumferences so on my chest line i'm going to do my bust circumference divided by four plus one inch same allowance okay then on my waist my bust waist divided by four plus one inch same allowance and plus one inch that that i removed that that intake then on my hip line my hip divided by four plus one inch same allowance so whatever i have on my hip i also bring it down to my hem right and just like i said whatever measurement i'm doing i'm doing it from that line that i marked that five inches line that i marked okay I'm going to connect all these points together And I'll blend up all the hip area and the waist area. Okay, so the next thing is to now create the princess that style line. But first, let me show you something that the back and the front is exactly the same thing. The lines should mark as you can see. Okay. So the only difference is that's five inches extra at the front for the overlap. Now the next thing is to create our lapel okay so on my starting point on this part of the overlap i'm going to mark where i want my lapel to stop so I'm, i want my lapel to stop at on the bus which is 15 inches so i mark 15 inches there and then i'm going to connect it to my neck width if you want yours to stop at the waist go ahead and mark it on your waist so by the time i fold my collar is going to stop at the under bust which is the break point so the next thing is to get my back pattern and measure the neck line okay so i'm going to measure my neck line of the back i have 3.5 inches there so on that point there on my neck i'm going to mark 3.5 note that i didn't mark it straight i didn't place my tip straight i placed it in line with that break point that i already marked which is slanty of the lapel so you're going to place it like that and mark your 3.5 there and you're, you're going to just connect it to that 3.5 like this so that it takes that slanty shape okay so the next thing is on that line you're going to go in or come out by half of an inch like that and you're going to take your curve and connect it slightly back to that point with a small curve and this is because you want it to lie or lay very very curved at the back because your neckline at the back is not straight so it make it a little bit curved like that so that it lays well at the back so the next thing is to determine the width of your collar i want my collar to be 3.5 the least you can do is three inches you can even do four inches so i'm going to be marking 3.5 and note again i didn't put my tape straight i made it a little bit slanty to mark 3.5 okay so i'm going to mark the 3.5 there and then i'm going to connect it to that new line that will max if you notice that i asterisk the other one because we won't be needing that again so i'm done with that and the next thing is to now connect my lapel that's just create your the shape of your stain the color the lapel color so i'm going to use my pencil first because i don't have a hip curve if you have a hip curve it's going to be easier for you but i'm going to use my pencil first to create the line that i want or my pen rather and if i like what i have done with my you know just eyeball it i'm now going to use my marker to 
trace it out so i'm just eyeballing it to get the shape um that i want i will now go ahead and use my marker and bring out the shape i'll use my uh, free hand to just trace it out and curve it out like this and this is what i have okay it's, this is basically all for the drafting of the color okay by the time we fold it this is all we're going to have after we must have cut it out now i'm going to create my princess i'm um, show that that princess line what is left of my collar of my shoulder just like the back is two uh, five inches and the midpoint of five inches is 2.5 i'm going to just mark it and connect it to my bust point now we are done the next thing is to mark out where we want our gathers to start you know our gather on the front is going to be on this side okay and it will go round to the back so i'm going to mark where i want my gather to start if you want just to start at the hip line hip line is up to you if you want it to be to start below the hip line is up to you or me i want my to start eight inches below the hip line okay so i'm going to mark it eight, eight inches there and i also want mine to be straight you know there are variations if you want yours to be a little bit slanty you can make it slanty but i want mine to be straight so i'll rule a straight line there and then this is what I have this is for the front right now for the back you know the gathered will go all the way to the back so we are cutting um everything off okay so i will mark from my hip line i'll mark eight inches and then i'm going to connect it with the straight line just like i said if you want your gather to start on your hip line mark it exactly on your hip line if you want it a bit slanty like in some pictures please make it a little bit slanty so i've marked for my back and i'm going to this is where the gather will be okay so the gather will replace this one i'm going to cut it off okay so this is this the gather will replace this okay that means you're going to measure what's left and you're going to cut the length of your gather will be what's left is about 11.75 or 12 you're going to cut a long strip of fabric that is 11.75 in length and then you're going to gather it okay so i'm going to cut my pattern right now so watch what i am cutting so that you know how exactly what i am cutting okay so the gathered will just be at the end like this and to get how long you want your gathered to be i'm going to measure by my hip times two okay get your hip and you measure it times it by two that is how long i'm going to have and i'll gather it okay so mark the points you would add all your um you know inches half inches for joining Okay, so on my side back and my center back, all these arrows I'm marking is to indicate that I will add half inch when I'm cut, cutting it on, on our fabric. Remember, we didn't add any allowance on the pattern. So we'll be adding them when we are cutting on the fabric. So the indications I'm making is that this is the past I will add half inch when I'm cutting on my fabric. So make those indications so that you don't forget. So we're done with the back. Now this is the front. So for the front... I'm also going to cut my patterns if you want yours to be a little bit slant you can make it slant like i said but i want mine to be straight okay so i'm going to cut out um this i remember for the front our gathered is not all over it's just going to be by the side so we're just going to cut our pattern like this so pay, pay attention to what i'm cutting so you know what exactly I am doing. So I'll cut this part off. This is this part. The gather will place this part. Okay. So this is what we have. Okay. By the time we join our 
pattern and fold the lapel this is what we'll have and then the gather to overlap and then the gather will also start from this part okay all the way around to the other end okay so indicate the places you add your allowance your joining allowance so here i'm adding half inch on the parts that i would join together and half inch on this part as well and also half inch on the shoulder half inch here just label your pattern okay so that you don't get confused the parts you're going to add allowance just label them and um, also label um yeah this is what i have i'll label this the the side front and the center front and you're going to cut two pieces for each of these the side front and the back and everything two pieces of each which i've already done this is the fabric i'm using it's a craft fabric and i use three yards for this i've cut out the center front like this and as you can see i added all the allowances where need be and i cut out four pieces of this on my crepe yes i cut out four so i'll be using the exact fabric the crepe as my lining this is because you want when you're done with your collar you want your crepe to be showing here you don't want the lining to be showing so you're going to cut for the center side center front here you're going to be cutting four on your fabric okay but for others you cut two for each and then two for the lining as you can see this is the side front and i added all the allowances that i indicated this is the side back um sb is side back like i i i labeled it added all the allowances the center back is cb and i added all the allowances as you can see so this is all we have for the pattern drafting in another video the next video i am going to show you how to step by step cut it to, uh, like sew it up together okay everything is not going to be in this video because it's going to be super long in the next video we'll sew this together and you see how it will come out so here is where the gather will be here okay so stay tuned for the sewing aspect of this video we'll put everything together step by step and you know we are actually sewing this together so guys don't forget to like this video and please subscribe and comment say something nice in the comment section okay and again for your center front you're going to iron your interfacing on four of them to make it a little bit stiff for the lapel that's the collar and also the buttons okay i'll see you in the sewing video guys bye